This game is called The End Is Nigh, and currently only 63 people in the world have its platinum. Compare that to the 887 that have one of the hardest platinums in the world, Super Meat Boy. We can see just how hard this game is, but why? Is it the relative unpopularity, or is this game simply impossible? The only way to find out is by starting with step one, beating the game. I play as Ash, a blob living in a post-apocalyptic world where he just wants to make a new friend and find video game cartridges after his last one broke. Coincidentally, we begin on chapter one, called The End. It's pretty basic though. You do some basic platforming and collect these objects that float around the levels called tumors. I'll need 450 for a trophy later on. I didn't have too much trouble in this chapter, but that wouldn't be the case for long. But for now, I got it done pretty quickly. I got the first trophy, the end. And with that, I moved on to chapter two, where I met this guy. This guy looks like that one guy from The Binding of Isaac. Would you like to see your fate? This ride requires 50 lifetimes of suffering to enter. Please return when your tumor has grown. I have 22. And I need 50 in order to see whatever this is about. So I continued playing through chapter 2 to get more tumors. I didn't know at the time, but I needed those 50 tumors to go back to that guy for a trophy. So I will be returning. But as I progressed through chapter 2, I also got more familiar with the mechanics. Like in this game, you can hang from ledges. Whether it's just a corner of rock like you see here, or an actual ledge sticking out from a wall like here, you can hang from either one. Towards the end of the chapter, I was introduced to this new enemy type that you can bounce off the top of. But if you make contact with any other part of its body, you die. And with a firmer grasp of the game's mechanics at this point, I made it through chapter 2 without too much trouble. The Arid Flats. And it was here in chapter 3 when they started to ramp up the difficulty. That water is polluted. At first, it tickles a bit. Then it's like a nice chemical pee. I can't remember what happens after that. Okay, so you don't want to stay under here for too long. Or else that happens. Okay. So how am I supposed to get that tumor in time? Ah, oh, crap, man. There we go. We got it. And that was tumor number 40. So just 10 more and I can go back to this guy to see what he has to offer. Towards the end of this chapter, I encountered these enemies. And just like the water, you can't stay in their bubble for too long or else you die. You can jump off the top of their heads and that's the only part of their body you're allowed to make contact with if you want to survive. Eventually, I was just one tumor away from the 50 I need. And there was one right here for the taking. Just got to grab it and complete the level. So I have 50 tumors and I want to go back to that dude to see exactly what he was talking about, but we have to get there first. I think I have to complete this chapter though, if I want to go back, cause I need to hit the fast travel point. Nice. And that was the last level of the chapter. Uh, coincidentally, we get overflow. And with that, I'm going to fast travel back to, I think it was arid flats where the guy was at all right here we are let's see what this guy was talking about mmm you reek of sadness please poke your head into the future so he opened up his mouth and we're gonna go inside kind of kind of sketchy the future okay this is like some different kind of level if i jump and land on the faces i die so what do I do here? Go to this ledge. Jump there. Okay, this this, this looks like it's this is gonna be <laughs> Okay! This is just gonna be extremely tough, it seems. And after about two minutes of dying over and over, I finally started to make some progress. Oh, oh, this is the furthest I've made it. Okay. Now we have to wait for this bounce pad to come up. Bounce pad, come on. I think I have to be faster, because the bounce pad's not showing up. Oh, you have to be fast because it's the same bounce pad as I'm using up there. And if it goes down, then you have to restart. Yeah, like this. Okay, 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 okay. I learned. I figured it out. It's got to be fast. Can't be too slow. Oh, crap! I have no idea what's at the end of this. Like, what do I get for completing this? I hope it's a trophy. Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. And there's more. Huh. All right, we're gonna have to get through all of this as well. And this as well took me a few minutes to figure out, but once I did, I was good. Ah! Cart acquired, play it on your home console. Turns out that was one of 22 I'll need to collect for a trophy, but I didn't know what they did, so I went back home like it said to try it out. So I go here, and I got this cart right here, Denial. So what is this exactly? Okay, it's like a retro level of some sort. And that kills you. Let's go 
And okay, I died to that too. But what I didn't know at the time was upon completion of this cart, I'd get the denial trophy. Okay, made it through. So I'm now in level 1-2. In this one, I have to collect this little ball to open up the door towards the end. So I'm gonna have to go up here. Okay, made it through that. It starts to be all the way from the beginning if I die? Oh, that's, that's, that's annoying. But it made sense because it did say I had zero lives in the top left. I think I have to hang off the side of the block. That's, I think that's what I have to do. Yep. Crap! <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. I think I just have to be a little bit more patient and not so fast. Yep. And then hang off that. Oh, I almost had it. Am I hanging off the wrong side? I think that's the way to do it. I think to hang off the right side. Ah! And there's more levels, of course. And I, I should have taken it slow. How many levels are a part of this? Why did I rush into that jump? Knowing that if I die, I have to restart from the beginning. Why did I just do that? That was so dumb. Okay, we made it back. Okay, we're gonna take our time with this. Where do we go from here? Okay, we go up. Okay, this is, I don't, uh, this is, this is wild. This is wild. This is getting insane. I'm, I'm, I'm getting very nervous. Dead. Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I made it to I one six, or I made it to one six. Oh my God, that's tough. How do I do this jump? That's the question. The box goes down right next to that white pillar of light. So if I can just land there at the right time. Oh my gosh, I just missed it. Okay, I'm on the box, I'm on the box. Now we need to jump to that next box. So just stay on here. It goes right next to that white light, so. Oh, I made it! I made it! I made it! I made it! Oh my gosh! Okay, 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 okay. This doesn't look too bad. This doesn't look too bad. There's no way I fumbled this. Oh, I almost fumbled. <laughs> Tried it. <laughs> okay. What is that the end? There's like a ghost. I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. <laughs> How did I just make it through that? How did I just make it through that? Yes! Denial! Oh my gosh, that was so scary! Oh! Okay, one of however many there are here. That's right. All 22 of these cartridges will need to be completed for a trophy. And that was only the first one. The next cart I found somewhere in chapter four. Another cart. After finding it, I then tried collecting this tumor floating in the air. The only way to get it is to bounce off the top of this flying enemy's head and safely make your way up. Definitely was not my first try and those enemies are quite annoying. Plus you have to avoid these ghosts flying around. Shortly after, I rise up this elevator and get the trophy for the chapter completion. It is, the Wall of Sorrow is complete. This next chapter got more challenging because it introduced projectiles, which were really annoying to deal with. Any sort of projectiles in platforming games are always a nightmare for me. I could definitely see this coming back to haunt me later on when I have to beat the game with under 200 deaths. But for now, I'm free to die as many times as I need to complete the game. I'll worry about that other trophy when I get there. There are also cannonballs in this chapter that you can bounce off the top of, and this level right here is kind of tricky to figure out. But I got lucky with my jump and made it through. SS Exodus. It wasn't anything special about the next chapter aside from how dark it was, but I got through this with relative ease. The Hollows. 
And just like that, we're on the next chapter, where any contact with this red liquid means death. But it's been the same story so far in these chapters. With enough practice, I can get these done. I better get used to them now because not only do I have to beat this game with less than 200 deaths, but I also have to do a speed run. So this first playthrough is literally just familiarizing myself with everything this game has to offer. We got Golgotha. I then got the two next chapter completion trophies and then things started to get even harder. I collected three body parts from these chapters to make a friend. Went to go back to home and interact with this, Ash builds that friend. It triggers a cutscene and then the entire world changes. The future. Complete the past, okay? So now the world is completely different. Man, I just died. Don't really know what's going on over here. So clearly everything is red, but now there are a lot more obstacles for me to avoid. And if you look at the top left, you can see I have less tumors than I did just before the world transitioned. Apparently all those tumors I've been collecting were now serving as lives. So with each death, that's one less attempt. Run out and I'll have to restart the entire chapter. But I didn't know it at the time, which led me to be quite reckless with my lives. And I was stuck on this exact level for like 15 minutes straight until this happened. Game over. I have a limited amount of lives on this? No way, man. But with the knowledge that I need to play more carefully, I was able to get through this. Oh, you got it done, anguish. Which is exactly what I'd feel after getting these next three trophies, because I'd get my first taste of what a speed run in this game is like. What is this? Why is there a timer all of a sudden? Do I have to jump into that? What the heck is going on? I'm getting spawn trapped. My lives are just going down. Yeah, yeah, they just spawn trapped me, bro. Nuketown Demolition. What it? Yep, game over. Oh, crap, man. I'm running out of time. Oh. I made it about halfway back, but then got stuck on this level. And my time was pretty much gone. Bro, this is stupid bullets, man. I hate them. What happened? Yep. I lost, ran out of time. But then I figured out you can just jump on these two boxes at the start of the level and get through it easily. But I spent way too much time in the next level, leading me to run out of time again. Again, I'm gonna have to retry. I failed again! Oh my gosh. And I didn't know at the time, but I would get a trophy if I can beat this in time. But even on my third attempt, it wasn't going too well. In the bottom left, I'm trying to reach Ruin 1, but I still have some more levels to go through. But not much time to do it. Let's go! Screen shaking a little bit. Crap! Come on. Bro, I might actually fumble this. I might actually fumble this. Ugh. Come on, come on. I made it, I made it. Crap, 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 crap. 56 seconds. Go, 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 go. 30 seconds. I gotta turn, I gotta turn off the music. What do I do here? Ah, ah. 25 seconds. Is this it? No, 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 no. With 16 seconds on the clock, acceptance. Oh my gosh. I think that's the end of the game. It took me, what, 2,886 deaths in eight hours and 47 minutes. Remember, I need to beat the game with under 200 deaths and also beat it in under an hour and a half. But we're saving those for step four and five. Step two is to get all the collectibles, which meant going through all the world and finding all the tumors, mega tumors, and carts. And it took a while, but I got it done. Stage V. Collect 450 tumors, nice. The super mega cart, nice. All cartridges collected, but it actually wasn't all carts because I still needed to collect the ones from the future. And for the last one, I needed to beat a couple levels. This being the final one. Do I get the one on the bottom first? That seems like a better choice. What if I wait from the top? Oh, idiot. Yeah, I think that's the strat. I think that's the strat. Wait down from the top. And then as soon as this is open. Got it. Got it. And I died. Okay, but I know the strat. I know the strat. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Grab the cartridge and, and dip. 
The Tower of Ascension. Let's go. There was one last card to collect, but I held off on it for now. Before that, I'll have to beat the ones I currently have. Just like earlier, I had to play through all these retro levels, combining all the base game's mechanics and enemy types under a retro filter. As we go further down the list, they get harder, but they never felt impossible. But there is one trophy involving them that does seem impossible, and I'll tackle that one later. For now, I got most of the retro trophies without too much trouble. And it was good practice because I'll need to be a master at these levels if I want to get the platinum. But the glitch cards were even harder. In these, you have unlimited attempts but the levels are noticeably harder than the previous ones just take a look at some of these levels and how precise your jumps have to be to beat them the only thing in my favor was the infinite lives which allowed me to learn the levels as much as needed and so these levels are really just a matter of persistence they took me a while but i was able to beat them so now we're stepping away from the retro levels to enter what i believe to be the hardest chapter in this game this big white ball that i jumped into earlier is the entrance but it only lets you in once you have at least 450 tumors now that i did we can see what lies on the other side so i am now ready to enter this big floating ball that I tried entering before and I didn't have enough tumors to do so but now I do so we're gonna jump in and this is gonna take us to the last location of the game even though we already beat it nevermore war point unlocked okay so we have 46 tumors left over after that what do I do from here is the question do I jump across oh okay now there is a trophy for completing this chapter but the fact that I didn't have many tumors to do it made this harder bro Trying to get through this. What are those dudes? Oh my gosh. Yo, this is actually tough. Ugh. There we go. And since it was my first attempt at this chapter, I wasted a lot of lives quickly until I was left with only one. One life left. I made it through with one life left. We've still got plenty more levels to go. I'm just gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. Just, 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 just kill me, bro. Yeah. Just kill me, bro. Game over. Oh, I gotta go through it again. 46 more attempts. But with one run under my belt now, I had more lives when I made it back here. Uh, overshot it. Nice. No, bruh! Let's go. Let's go. Whoo! Barely made it through that. Oh, I gotta pause. I gotta pause. I got 21 attempts, and I think this is the last level. Okay, so we're just going through here. I'm probably gonna die a couple times. Oh my gosh, how am I alive? I'm gonna make it. Nope, first try. Yes! I got it! We got the Nevermore trophy. We also got Hoarder, collect all collectibles. So that was for getting that last cartridge I picked up at the end. But I also had to beat that cartridge for another trophy. This is another one where I had unlimited attempts, but it was quite hard. The patterns were insane. God, I'm going too fast, I'm going too fast. You see how like, you see how, like there's no space, bro. Ha! I'm supposed to get through that with those obstacles in the way? <laughs> what the heck? I made it! First try! Oh my gosh! The last level consisted of a barrage of bullets being fired at you while you try to avoid them on this moving platform. But one thing I learned about this game is it's always a fixed pattern. So once you learn the pattern, you learn the level. You just have to keep trying. Crap! I tried to get lucky. The end is nigh. Let's go. Oof. At this point, there are no more trophies that can be done easily. There were still two carts that I had to beat, but I started on the super mega cart. There's a trophy for simply beating this specific cart, but I wanted to go above and beyond. It has a challenge to collect all 1,000 rings that I'll need to do eventually, so I figured why not try both at the same time. But what makes this cart extremely hard is that it combines all of these carts into one run. That means 10 carts with 10 levels per cart, totaling at 100 consecutive levels. And this is how far I made it on my first attempt. Oh my gosh, I'm so hard. I gave it another go and made it to the last level of cart five out of 10. I died, but I made it further. Nice. 
Now collecting all the rings actually makes beating this a lot harder. So I was curious to see how far I could go if I just ignored the rings and just tried to get the trophy for beating the cart itself. And so I found myself on cart 10 of 10, but with not many lives remaining. Yeah, once you get to this last one, you can't even play these unless you come back here again. That hit me? All right, bruh. And that hits me as well. Okay, game. Ooh, that was close. All right, made it past that. Yep, GG. There goes my best attempt. Oh my gosh. Of course, that means starting all the way from cart 1, but with the skills I developed, I made a push all the way to cart 10, level 6. But I was extremely scared to attempt this jump to the end. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared to drop. Oh, I made it! Oh, 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 oh. Am I safe? Okay, I'm safe. As long as I'm on these platforms, I'm safe. They can't hit me. So we can just take this one at a time and, and, and be safe. Just jump across. Two more levels left. This one has a pattern. Just try to learn the pattern. Okay. Made it, made it, made it, made it. This one also has a pattern. There's two more levels left. Same exact pattern. Made it, made it. Last level. I, th I think I did it. I think I did it. The Super Mega Kart. Yes, I did it. Oh my gosh. We're not done with that though, because I do have to get it while collecting all rings. That was not easy, but I have to do some more practice. But not only did I need it to collect all rings, but there's also another challenge for beating it without any continues. When you start the Super Mega Kart, you're given nine lives initially. Once you run out, it gives you the option to continue. If you press yes, you can pick up from where you left off with nine additional lives. So this challenge required me to beat all 100 levels of the Super Mega Kart without using any continues, meaning with only nine lives. Definitely one of the hardest things to do in this game. My first attempt came on stream where I made it to 6-8, not bad, but we've got a long way to go. But <laughs> ha! Okay, well. But I kept failing again, again, and again. I even had a run where I made it to 9-10, meaning only 11 levels left to go. Oh! Yeah, I died. There goes that. I made it to 9-10. That was my best. I tried more attempts off stream, but the losses were starting to get to me. And I lost. Oh man, that is so tough. Okay, and I failed again. I am having a really tough time with this and it's actually started to mess with me. But as usual, I kept trying and I made it back to 910 once again, but I have no lives remaining. So if I die, it's over. Oh, that was close. All right, I made it to 10-1. There's 10 levels left and I have no attempts at all. I don't expect to get through this, but the fact that I made it here is a record and I'm kind of happy for it, <laughs> but I'm extremely scared at the same time. I'm gonna try my best to win this right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, made it through the first. Made it through the second. So this one, this one bounces up, you go. Made it through the third. That was close. That almost hit me. Made it through the... Oh, crap. This is the hardest one for me right here. Oh, I died. I was close. I was five levels away, man. That is tragic, but it's my furthest attempt, man. I have to be getting this done soon.
I need to, I need to strap the heart rate monitor on. All right, time to strap this heart monitor on because this is about to get intense. And it's gonna be there in the bottom left corner. Now you're gonna see as I get further into the run, the number is gonna go up. So I'm just curious to see what it gets to or like at what point does it start to actually increase to what's considered, I guess, not normal. But let's go through this and try to do our best and hopefully get it done this attempt because we were close last time, extremely close. Now the run was going extremely well, but I did notice my heart rate going up. <sighs> okay, my heart rate's at 135 and I have eight lives left. I'm on nine one. I know how to execute these levels. Now, just for context, a normal heart rate is anywhere from 60 to 100 beats per minute. So the fact that mine was above that meant things were getting intense. And when that starts to happen, I make silly mistakes. I'm absolutely throwing it away. I had eight lives at the start of this world and I just, I'm throwing them all away. Okay, I'm on the last and I have what? Two lives. One life. And now I have no lives. So if I lose here, I lose for good. Luckily, I was able to focus up and make it back to where I died before. If I can get past this, then I not only beat my record, but there's only a few levels remaining. Oh my gosh, I just I just I just got past the level that I always struggle on. I think Okay, it, it's possible I can do this. Only three more levels. Only two more levels. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. I just did it, I just did it on my last attempt. My heart rate is literally at 166 on my last leg. I was so scared to go through those spikes. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I just did it. it. My heart rate's at 170. Look, that thing is real. I promise you the heart rate is real. It is not edited in. I have it right here on my shirt. Literally, it's right here in my shirt. Beat the game without continuing. Oh, oh I felt so stuck for days on that. With that out the way, I now had to get all the rings, like I said before. Definitely not an easy task, but it didn't take me nearly as long as the note continues. I tried this on stream and I failed a few times at first. One time even losing really close to getting it done. Ah, <laughs> uh, so hard, bro. And when I tried again, I made it to the last 10 levels and thought it was over with for me, but this happened. <laughs> Wait, was I doing that good? Bro, I was playing as if I had nothing left. And so with that last continue that I didn't know that I had, I was able to finish it off. I'm gonna cry, bro. I'm gonna cry, bro. Oh my gosh, that was so hard, bro. Super Mega Kart, all the requirements are done. I don't ever have to play that again. And now it was time for the speed run. The requirement for the trophy is to beat the game in 90 minutes. And this can be stacked with the trophy for beating it with less than 200 deaths. So I tried doing both at the same time on stream, but it wasn't going too well. And I was so mad that I actually deleted the stream. So unfortunately I don't have the clip, but the second attempt went better because I chose to just focus on the speed run and not even worry about my deaths. And already being familiar with the game from my initial playthrough, it wasn't that hard to speed run to be honest. Okay, so we just have to make it through this. And I already know how to do this. Nice. We're almost done. Oh, let's go. Screen starting to shake a little bit. We're about to be done. We're about to be done with the speed run. Yes! The speed run is complete! Live fast, die! Let's go. I, I beat it by like 10 or so minutes. Unfortunately, I was 30 deaths over the 200 limit, so I got to do another playthrough, which is what I did, playing more carefully, and I got that done the next try. Who 200 death run is complete. That really wasn't that bad. We got Undying. I got that, what, that's like my second attempt at the, at the run. I did the first one on stream and failed. Oof, one more thing left, 
and I'm done with this game. But I intentionally saved this for last because I knew it was going to be extremely difficult. Remember, this game is from the Wheel of Hardest Platinums that I made, so everything on here is insanely hard. At the end of this video, I'll spin it to see which game I'll platinum in the next episode of the series. But for this game, I still need four trophies, and I'll get them all when I complete this right here. It's called the Tower of Ascension, and it's a series of 32 retro levels which have to be completed consecutively without dying. I did have some experience with the levels already because I had to beat them for their individual trophies, but that doesn't mean I was ready to do this all in one run. Before I even made my first attempt at the run, I made sure to practice each level group until I was able to beat it three times in a row consistently. The problem is the last level group cannot be practiced at all. You can only attempt it when you're actually in the full run. So when I get there, I'm gonna have to figure things out. Once I felt comfortable enough to give it a run, I tried on stream and it wasn't going too well at first. I'm actually cooked. I messed it. How did I manage to mess that up? Like, it's the easiest thing ever. I've done that literally no problem hundreds of times. But it was okay because I knew I can get past that. About an hour and a half into the stream when I was doing this, I had my best attempt yet. Okay, this is the last one. This is the last cart right here. There's like five or six levels left. And if I get this done, I've never been here before. I've never been here before. It doesn't seem that bad though. So we got ghosts flying around. I know these ghosts I'm familiar with them because they're in the main game Sorry, this one this jump right here is gonna be kind of complicated. I have to time that like perfectly oh, That's tough, bro Unfortunately because I kept dying earlier in the run It took me 50 minutes to get back to this level the run itself doesn't take that long I just kept messing up early on. Okay, so obviously when the ghosts are big and white that means you'll die to them when they're small and like gray, it's cool. So as soon as it changes to white or as soon as it gets bigger, I think that's when I jump. Oh man, I, sh I just had to. Oh my gosh, bro, I went too early. With that knowledge, I came up with a new strategy and tried again. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, there's a safe spot right there on the right. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. There it goes. There was literally only one more level to beat for the platinum after that. It's not even any point in raging. It was just heartbreaking at that point. But of course I kept trying and I had a new strategy. I have to bring that platform down as far as I can go. So I'll just demonstrate it. Then jump to the bottom platform. That loss was so scary that it really hurt me. At this point, I was failing for four hours straight, actually considering ending the stream. But in my head, I remembered one thing, which is enough for me to keep trying. I want you to speak life into that thing. Whatever it is, whatever your circumstances are, say with me, I can. I can get through this. I will. I will get through this. I must. Skip this. Give me the other trophies. Retro God. Retro Rampage. And finally, I'm gonna get the flat. Beat it. One more. There's a lot of trophies to get. Okay, one more. Dead God. Oh my gosh. That's over, bro. Jesus, man. That was hard. That was really, really hard, bro. And to end off the stream, I spun the wheel to see which game would be in the next episode. The other ones I'm kind of neutral on besides Jump King. I just don't want that. Still, I just don't want that. But let, let's, let's spin, bro. Oh, okay. That is, that, it's not Jump King. Is that Metal Gear? It is. Okay, I'm happy with that. And so Metal Gear Rising, it is. But what if I told you the previous game from this wheel was even harder than this one? You can press here on the screen to see me tackle that game's Platinum 2. 